are you doing? It's Elaine Benz, health coach, personal trainer, again with another quick fit tip and an exercise. So today I'm going to show you the proper way to do standing bicep curls. A question I get from women all the time is, Elaine, how do I get these buff arms? Oh my gosh, what do I do? So you want to pair the bicep muscles, so the front with the back, the tricep muscles. Um, but today I'm just going to focus on the bicep muscles. So the body position is your feet are about hip width apart, toes pointing forward. You want good posture. So always, whenever you're doing strength training, you want to be slouching. You don't want to be bending forward. You really do want to stand up and make sure you're pulling your abs in and have your weight evenly distributed on both sides. Try to keep the shoulders back. It's not like you're pushing your chest forward, but you don't want to be slouching. So whatever you do with your body when you're lifting is how your body is going to end up looking. Um, so bicep curls. We're just going to start with something light and easy today. I just grabbed some dumbbells. So the weight I'm going to use, I'm just going to start with a 15. We can definitely do more weight as you get stronger. So like I said, feet are about hip width apart, toes pointing forward. We're going to start with the wrists facing in. And then you're going to open up your palms so your wrist is facing out. So you're going to go ahead and supinate. And then exhale, curl both dumbbells up toward the shoulders. Inhale, slow and controlled, lower the weights back down. If you'd like to internally rotate the wrist, you can go ahead and do that if you'd like a little break. But go ahead and open up, supinate the wrist, and then exhale, lift up. Inhale, slow and controlled on the way down. If you want to keep going with the movement, slow and controlled, you can do whatever count works for you. Oftentimes, you'll see in strength training a two-second count for concentric and a four second count for eccentric. But you could do super slow training, you can move more quickly. Just don't move too quickly because you could really hurt yourself. So you can't really tell, but I'm holding my abdominal muscles in so that I have good form and I'm not swaying. So if you look at me from the side, you're not gonna see this movement. That's cheating. What you're gonna see is shoulders down and back, your weight evenly distributed, wrists facing forward, and then you're pulling up and slow and controlled monitoring this movement so that I am not moving back and forth with my back. I am moving my arms, I am moving my elbows, I'm controlling my motion by moving at the elbow joint, the wrist is supported. So that's just one of the movements that you can do to keep your, your arms looking nice. Of course, everyday living stuff if you're lifting things, you're cleaning, like I'm picking our son up a lot. You know, he's 18 months old, so he likes to be carried or from going to grab something or grabbing laundry, things like that. These are everyday living skills. So it's definitely great to practice the movements with weights, especially if you don't have those everyday tasks to keep the arm muscles strong. So please, again, keep me posted on any questions. I'd love to hear your questions. You guys are doing really well. And I look forward to a video on triceps. All right, thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye.